second part of microbiology key points right uh, so hi uh, hi kinjal saida hi srish then lakshmi hi hi brijesh this is nothing like password this is not a private video anyone can watch it right hi priti purvel sita hi i know you are waiting uh, is farheen hi hi farheen hi sofia alankrita kedar hi Hi Priti. Hi Vijesh. Yes, hi Munal Nandini. Hi, hi Angel. Hi Madhumita. Hi Vijay Lakshmi. Priti, I think you liked my page, right? I just seeing your profile. Okay. So all this while I've been seeing only your passport size photos which you have sent me. So for the first time, I'm seeing your life size photos in your profile. Okay, fine. Hi Priyanka. Hi Sarangi. Hi Manasvi. Hi everyone once again. Right. So we shall continue with our discussion. Right. So you might have heard of various hypersensitivity reactions. Right. So we have four types of hypersensitivity reactions, as you all know. So what? is atopy yes pretty yeah so what is atopy a t o p y yes it's considered to be mild form it's a type 1 hypersensitivity reaction only, right? Anaphylaxis is a main kind of uh, reaction which we can expect in case of type 1 hypersensitivity reactions. Yes, atopy is a milder form and of various chemicals which are available, which is considered to be the most important vasoactive amine in anaphylaxis. Which chemical is considered to be the most potent? vasoactive amine in case of anaphylaxis <clears throat> good hi Aman. yes it is histamine isn't it? So what's the role of histamine on blood vessels? Vasoconstrictive or vasodilative? Yes, it's released from mast cells. Yes, good. Vasodilation, isn't it? Okay. Type 1 is anaphylaxis. So what is type 2 also called? Type 2 hypersensitivity reaction. Yes. Yes, it is cytotoxic, good or cytolytic. Yes, antigen antibody reactions, right? HDMB, for example, erythroblastosis vitalis. Okay, well, give me some examples for type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. 
Yes, Shruti, Vijay Lakshmi, Dara Lakshmi. So we have many Lakshmi as here. Yes. Type 3, Arthur's reaction, serum sickness. So Arthur's reaction is considered to be a localized form, whereas serum sickness is a generalized form, isn't it? Give me some examples for type 4 hypersensitive reactions. Yes, Steven Johnson. Yeah, the complexes, antigen antibody complexes, once they get deposited, right, they can inform the reaction type 3. Type 4, yes, Montox, tuberculin, tuberculosis, chronic granulomatous inflammations, leprosy. Good. So delayed type of hypersensitive reactions, isn't it? The first transplantation technique was described by which Indian scientist? Yes, tuberculosis, right. Earliest transplantation technique Anjil, Aman, Super. Sushruta. You have this Sushruta Samhita, you have a book also, right? And who is considered as father of Indian surgery, ancient Indian, Indian surgery? Yes. Sushruta Samhita. Okay, fine. Okay, I'll just give you the description. Tell me which kind of graft that description belongs to an organ or a tissue which is taken from an individual from one side and is placed at another side in the same individual is an example for which graph same individual not different individual of same species So obviously it is good. Yeah, autograph, isn't it? Yes, someone father of microbiology. We have different literatures giving different uh, father of microbiology. Louis Pasteur is considered as father of microbiology. Uh, Antonin Leeuwenhoek, right? Robert Koch. So different references have different. Uh, uh, information given, right? So you need not really worry about that. That's why I didn't elaborate previous session. If you can Google, if you can get some articles, Robert Koch or Louis Pasteur or even Levin Hawk. Yes, even Robert Koch. Yes, different, as I said, different sources. Okay, fine, let's not fight for it. Right. So, So an organ or tissue transplanted from one person to another person in a given same species is an example for Ocuburnus Robert Koch, you can go for uh, Robert Koch Aman. Yeah, so allograft is different individuals of same species. Cellografts are also called as the other name for allograft. Allografts are also called as homographs. Yes, uh, in case of genetically identical individuals, as Angel said, isograft. Good. And what is a xenograft or heterograft? Obviously, different species altogether. Right? It's very simple.
So which blood group do you consider as universal donor and universal recipient respectively? Yes, alloplast is synthetic. Good. So which material? Okay. Yeah. Which blood group do you consider as universal donors and universal recipients respectively? Yes. Good. O negative, A B positive. Good. So that's quite simple, right? Okay, bingo. So, if you remember, we have gone through some of the uh, color templates in our grand test 3. Uh, I insist you on going through them once again to see how different bacteria present their colonies on different media, right? We will have various questions on them. The most common infection caused by Staphylococcus, the most common infection in the deeper layers caused by Staphylococcus. most common acute osteomyelitis stitch abscess is caused by stitch abscess Very good shredder. Staph epidermidis. Which is considered to be the most serious pneumococci infection? Fantastic. Venus, Madhumitra, Mandan. Good. So it is meningitis. Yes, Sita. And related to meningitis, the most common cause of neonatal meningitis.
Fucking says sinusitis. Most common cause of neonatal meningitis. Most common cause of neonatal meningitis. Yes, Sita, have you Googled it? Yes, it is E. coli. E. coli. Most common bacteria causing UTI. What does UTI stand for? Yes, googling can be done within fraction of second, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, even 0.16 seconds. Yes, can negative bacilli, E. coli. <laughs> okay, anyways, I'm just kidding, right? Which bacteria is considered as an evidence for recent pollution with human or animal feces? In a drinking water, if you find this particular bacteria, it means there is a recent pollution with contamination with human or animal feces. So which bacteria is it? Okay. Okay, me too. In the recently held JPSC. Good. It's E. coli again. E. coli, presence of E. coli indicates recent infection of a uh, recent contamination of drinking water with human or animal feces. Because these questions are of public health importance, so maybe they could have asked such questions. Okay, good. Thanks, Nitu, for sharing. And we still have a lot many questions on media. I'm not going to frighten you with all those questions. BCG vaccine was introduced by which scientist? Yes, even travelers diarrhea, E. coli. BCG. Don't worry, Preeti. Uh, this realization is not to increase your fear, only to discuss a uh, few points which we are already familiar with. Yeah. BCG stands for Bacillus Calmetic Urine. So Calmetic and Urine are names of two scientists. Right? It's not single. Name the bacteria which are devoid of cell walls. 
Yes, Sita, you are scolding some. You are scolding me, right? You are re retracted your message. So name the bacteria which are devoid of cell walls. Good. Okay, fine. Yeah. So mycoplasma are devoid of cell walls. In which disease do you find sulfur granules? In which bacterial disease do you find sulfur granules? Yeah, actinomycosis. Acnomycetus. Acnomyces. Acnomyces species. Good. So where do you find Negri bodies? So I discussed this in one of the live sessions also, image based. Negri bodies. Also I think we have incorporated in one grand test. Good. Yes, spread down. I think if we, if we start with another fun fest, I'm sure uh, Shraddha is going to come first. Yes, Preeti, Farheen, Rajput. Yes, rabies, isn't it? Okay. So, Negri bodies are those which are found in rabies. What are the other names for herpes, Joster? Yes. Herpes Joster. Other names for Herpes Joster. Good. Shingles. Any other name? Yeah, herpes schuster also called as shingles or Jonah. J O N A Jonah. Which virus is considered to be the largest of herpes family? If you are really having apprehension attending this live session, let me tell you one thing. These are all memory based. So no one expects us to remember, right? So it is the owner's life on us. So that's why I keep on highlighting the fact that this final day is try to focus on your notes and memory based topics, right? 
don't worry. So consider these points as an add-on rather than assuming that you still need to know or remember a lot. Rather than taking it the other way, assume these live sessions as an add-on, right? So just they're adding up to your memory. Then it will be more positive for you, right? So box, what was that I asked you? Yeah. Cytomegalovirus, CMV. Cytomegalovirus, megalo, term itself gives you the main, right? So CMV is a source, uh, causes which disease. You, you might have heard of infectious mononucleosis, right? Yeah. Measles is also called as. Measles is also called as Yes, even EBV, Epstein-Barr virus also is implicated Good, it is rubiola, very good German measles Then what about German measles? Yes, yes, machine. Good. Rubella. Good, Aman. Tabish, Ankita, Vidhi. Yes, very good. Impressive. Rabies virus usually affects which? part of your body rabies virus nerves axons isn't it Now the question is, what is the rate of movement of rabies virus along the axon? With what speed and with what or with what rate does the rabies virus move along the axon? What's that expression? What does it mean? Dizzy face, furry in rolling eyes. <laughs> okay, fine. It's three mm per hour. So for every hour, it moves 3 mm on an average. What is the 250 on rug? Okay, anyways, I enjoyed your smiles. Flushed, dizzy. So as you mentioned, in cerebellum and hippocampus, we find these negri bodies, rabies virus infected, negri bodies abundantly in cerebellum and hippocampus so these all come under inclusion bodies right what is dane 
particle d a n e then particle hepatitis b the dna of hepatitis b is considered to be in particle is it so what is the route of transmission of hepatitis b route of transmission of hepatitis b your blood parenteral okay route of transmission of hepatitis e hepatitis e I'm sorry. Fico oral. Yes, fico oral. The most common cause of post transfusion hepatitis. The most common cause of post transfusion hepatitis. Good shred the Eskinjal, Sonal, Marumita, Burnes, Farheen, Ankita, Abhishek, Niharika, Preeti, Tabish. Hepatitis C. Hepatitis C. Post transfusion hepatitis. What is the vector for dengue fever? Dengue fever is caused by which vector or which vehicle? Good. It is ejected. And final question, which one is considered to be the most common infectious disease in human beings? Final question, which one is considered to be the most common infectious disease in human beings? What about dental caries? Okay. Right. So common cold is the most common infectious disease. Right? Okay. So it's been 35 minutes. We'll, we'll stop it here. We'll come back with another subject. Again at 11.30. Right? Is it fine? Are you doing fine or... Do you want any improvements? Yes, we'll see you again at 11.30. Around 11.30 with another new subject, right? Key points. So I hope, see, uh, as you have mentioned, as few of you mentioned that uh, which subject I haven't yet decided, I'll let you know, right? Yes, so as few of you, <laughs> 12, I'm sorry, I will shake. Anyways, it will be around 11.30, right? Don't worry. And sleep.
Okay, uh, okay, I'll decide the subject and I'll let you know, right? So don't worry about the subject, leave it to me. Uh, so just go ahead with your revision and uh, as I've been talking to most of you, the mainly complaining of fear, let me just tell you one thing repeatedly, there is no point in having fear now, excess of fear as we discussed previously. In fact, most of you are complaining of phobia, apprehension, anxiety, but remember, let's assume that we are two in number, myself and you, watching the video. So we do have studied extremely well, but because of uh, my inability to manage my feelings, no matter how much I studied, I started feeling apprehensive and anx anxiety. So whom do you think is going to perform well on the day of exam, comparatively? It has nothing to do with the knowledge. I mean, obviously knowledge becomes secondary there. As I said, this is a level playing field. More or less, all of us put so much of effort using our brain and we just give our best. We just try to give our best, isn't it? So more or less, we are almost all at the same level with few exceptions, up or down, either extremes. But what do you think is going to play a crucial role on the day of exam? The more relaxed you stay, the more confident you feel, the more fearless you are, the better your performance is going to be. Just have this sentence in your mind and just uh, recall this sentence as many times as possible in a given day. I know it's very tough period, I know it's very challenging, very stressful, but this is a fact. If you're apprehensive, anxious, definitely you're not going to do well. Let me just clarify that one thing. And these two days, don't be under the assumption that you're going to complete all subjects. It would be foolish, frankly speaking. So in the given amount of time, what best you can do, what, how many uh, topics you can revise, how many papers you can solve, how many memory-based topics you can revise. That's the only thing you have to do now. Don't expect yourself to do more and eventually you'll fail. Don't worry about that. So just go at a normal pace. Try to stay relaxed. I know it's very difficult, but at least control your emotions. Don't go into negativity. Don't have that excessive fear or phobia. And as I keep on saying, the more relaxed you are, the better your performance is going to be on the final day of exam, right? And preferably watch a movie every day, starting from, as I said, as I said previously, from yesterday, at least watch from today. One movie, one short movie or whatever. Uh, spend one, one hour time for watching some kind of entertainment program. Uh, you'll feel good. Definitely you'll feel good, right? And you're definitely going to do well in exam, right? believe in yourself that's the best way forward okay so i'll come up with more of this stuff as we go on more and more live sessions and i hope these live sessions are of some use for your preparation right so i hope i have answered your queries right No, I'm not taking anyone in wrong way, Sita. You need not really worry about that. Sonal, you say you're having extreme anxiety since evening. Did I give you something which is useful? Yes, for a teen. Yes, Salam Krita, definitely. And uh, I'll not promise you, but definitely I'll try calling each one of you, those who are attending live sessions and those who are in our WhatsApp update group. Or if you feel like you you need to talk to me, drop your phone number to my mail, we can interact, right? And also, all the members in our WhatsApp update group, I'll try calling, I'll not promise you, but I'll try my level best to call each one of you and wish you all the best personally, right? Yes, Prashanti. Good to know that BA. That's why I said you just focus on your preparation, give your best, and attend our live sessions, attend my live sessions as a mode of relaxation, right? Yes, Brijesh. Kedar. Yes, you're most welcome. Glad to hear that, Venus. Thank you. 
good to know that pretty thank you for your love and affection yes see that you can drop a mail at talk to be dentist at gmail.com right you can just drop your mobile number if you are no issue with or you can just drop a mail we can interact over mail right yeah yes madhu it's only m6 yes okay yeah see you again at 11:30 sharp 11:30 this time right sita i guess you will be sleeping right bye take care